30 seconds into flight. Astronauts returning to seats. The astronauts are returning to their seats, and the booster will actually land about two miles north from the launch pad. It's below 500 miles an hour now. That was the song. There's, of and you can see the green light Engine right restart. there. Landing lights deployed. Boost to descent nominal. Booster touchdown. Booster touchdown. Mm -hmm. Welcome right. home, New Shepard booster. You should be able to. Yep, there's the there's the crew capsule. Now we're gonna look for the drogue deployment. There it is. There we are. Three reefed parachutes. Always Confirmed. really really good. Capsule mains look good. Amazing. Touchdown. Oh, Touchdown. Auto seeking start. Welcome home. NS 37. Our astronauts have landed and they have touched down back in West Texas. Welcome home, crew of NS 37. The 37th mission to space for New Shepard. Status. Uh, this is a special thing today. You can kind of see that they have laid out a special um, kind of a little map there for uh, the wheelchair access that is uh, not a normal thing that we've done before, but it's it's a, an accommodation that we've made to be able to fly Mihu to space. This is incredible. I love hearing the, the the crowd there cheering her on from the from the ground there at West Texas. And we got our CM7 Sarah Knight and Jake Mills. They're gonna lift Mihi down into the wheelchair, and she has completed her journey to space and back safely back home on Earth. Look at that big smile. <laughs> Oh, the joy that she must have right now. So cool. So we're going to hear uh, now from the astronauts here in a second. So what's going to happen is Jake Mills, our crew member seven, is going to uh, catch up with a few of the astronauts. And uh, here we go. Oh, look at that moment. Missy, congratulations. Thank you. You told me after your ac the accident that you thought this dream of going to space was no longer possible. You just showed the world that it is possible. What would you say to Let's folks that... <laughs> what would you say to folks that have given up on a dream because they thought it was impossible? I think you should never give up on your dreams, right? But, I mean, there's also sometimes just a low probability that it comes true. And I just got very lucky and I'm very grateful that Blue and Hans and everyone said yes to this journey. Yes. We're grateful for you too. Congratulations.